It was an emotional night for so many Rangers fans, some of whom waited five decades for this moment, including a man who's covered the Rangers since the day they arrived in Arlington. Let's get to Matt Houston live from Globe Life Field. Hey guys, good evening. You might remember Randy Galloway from Galloway and Company on 1033 a few years ago. You might have read his columns in the Star Telegram or the Dallas Morning News before that. I asked him today, in these moments, do you miss being in the business and riding on teams like this? When he gave a humble answer but said, man, it sure is nice to just be a fan these days. The folks who own JD's Hamburgers on Camp Bowie West. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Call him Hello. their local celebrity. Mr. Galloway? Yeah, I'm a huge fan. He's become a regular in retirement, Smile. though today, Randy Galloway might as well be working again. When you're that damn old and still alive, people want to know, well, how was it 50? Two years ago. He did two radio interviews before lunch and one in the afternoon. I can't believe you've been retired for 10 years, Gallo. That Galloway is in demand for good reason. I told my wife I wish I could hear Randy Galloway <laughs> talk on the radio about the Rangers. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but now there's no need to worry about print deadlines or the next day's show. It's Randy Galloway white knuckled through these playoffs like everyone else. No, I never felt comfortable. One game, one inning at all based on uh, Ranger history. He's seen all of it. In 1972, Galloway became the Dallas Morning News' first Rangers beat writer. He's Randy Galloway, former Fort Worth Star-Telegram columnist, radio host. If you were consumed with winning, he says, it wasn't often enjoyable. Unfortunately, what's been consistent has been the negative. What happened in this postseason and what happened in Game 5 in Phoenix, Arizona, it just erases all of that. He calls it the hoodoo voodoo. A half century of next year's almosts and maybe nevers gone. So long to heartbreak. Rangers loyalists in the chicken fried nation have finally shed their misfortune. It's like a thank you to the fans, those of us who rode it out for 52 years. It's been a long wait for Randy Galloway too. In Fort Worth, I'm Matt Houston.